Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last episode, we found the uh, guy we were looking for, but uh, couldn't do anything about him. Or at least I couldn't figure it out. Hello? It's another scorcher today! I've got a fierce urge to go crush an idiot, but I can't find... Can't until Unibo returns from the abandoned North Mines! But first of all, before we get back there, uh, we need, oh, money. Oh, oh, come on. I guess that teaches me to throw pots at people's heads. Okay. What valuable items do I have? I've got salt, um, topaz. I'll sell you nine topaz. Thank you. Okay. And this helmet is incredibly expensive. But, uh, we can get the flame breaker armor. There we go. Okay. Now, without the helmet, I just kind of look ridiculous at this point. I mean, why the heck is the helmet so expensive? Sheesh. Thing is, I don't have that many things that sell for an incredibly large sum of money. So, yeah, I think the helmet is probably out of reach. But, uh, also, uh, while I'm in town, uh, food is, has been a bit, food, we need more food. Um, is there a, uh, cooking vessel around here somewhere? Yeah. What type of salvage is this? Ooh. Marcus Martha hasn't come back yet! What in the world is he thinking? Your brother? My little brother Gorgon! I'm really proud of him, but he said he was gonna go dig up the secret of the hero and then he just took off. I really don't know what in the world got into him. Where did he go? I'm certain my little brother went off to Gorako Tunnel, southwest of Gorako Lake. The bedrock in that tunnel is incredibly hard, so us Gorons gave up trying to dig it out ages ago. Instead of chasing dreams, I'd prefer to see him face reality and help us out with our important Goron work. I see. You should calm down though, alright? Alright, cooking time! Okay. What are we making first? I will make a dish with stamella shrooms and man, we have like no food. A single stamella shroom. Okay. How about some uh, bird eggs? And an Endura Shroom. Okay, um, can I add some blue nightshades to uh, an acorn and make a good dish. It's 
sneaky fried wild greens. Okay. Alright, we'll cook up a uh, hearty truffle. Two hearty truffles together. Okay. Now how about... Volt fruit. And a wild berry. Okay, that's great. Tree nuts. And... Warm Safina. And there are carrots. And a wild bear. Okay. Oh, a raw bird thigh. And some honey. That ought to be good. Energized glazed meats. Stamella shrooms. And... Had some Hylian rice. Rice and shrooms. Ooh, rice balls. Nice. How about some rice and iron shrooms? Ooh, tough mushroom rice balls. Uh. Not just a bunch of blue nightshades, like five. No health benefit for that, fascinating. Some salt. And... A couple sun shrooms. Okay, uh, last one, last one. How about some, uh, silent shrooms? And a crab. Fish and mushroom skewer. Okay. Alright, back to it, I guess. Oh, what's this? Toasted Highland Shroom? Hello. Welcome to Protein Palace, the hotspot for on the rocks grilling. How's it going? You need something? What is this place? We take a look around the- Well, take a look around this grilling joint. Normally, Gorons only eat rocks. Mmm, the good stuff. Still, we sell this kind of thing for the tourists. They love it. Come on, eat up. Get yourself a meaty muscle body like us Gorons. I'll buy. Wow, really? I haven't had a customer in ages. I'll tell you something interesting. Goron City is so hot, if you put anything on the ground, it'll cook up in no time. Once we figured that out, we lost all our customers. All of them. So, yeah, if you see something you want, just grab it hot off the grill. 
I right, see ya. Oh, well, that's interesting. So if I, uh... So if I say, uh... It's okay, uh... A bright-eyed crab. Just to toss it on the ground. Ooh, blackened crab. Nice. Good to know. Man, there's money in like all the pots. Okay, we. Oh, hello. This is the house of the distinguished Goran artisan, Master Rowan. You need something? Who's Rowan? Master Rowan is a godly blacksmith. He's responsible for keeping the ancient arts alive. He's really strict with everyone, me included. In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Goron City as a part of my training. But I can't get the Igneo Talus at Drunia Lake. <sighs> if only some would go, would go in my place. Fascinating. Hello, good sir. What are you staring at? Oh, sorry? You're distracting me. Your home is lovely. What now? Sorry. Again and again, I can't stand it. What now? Pull yourself together. What now? Okay. The uh, thing's happening here. Oh, uh, I'll just help miss. Uh, I can't carry anymore. Uh, am I still carrying a stick around? Because if I am, I probably should stop. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, I guess we should probably get back to, uh, that guy and see if we can help him somehow. Hmm. I'm not quite certain what uh, we need to do there, though. But with extra armor, we should be able to, uh, at least not be reliant on the elixir, so we won't be on uh, time crunch. That's good. But we will need to fight our way all the way back there again. Also, uh, let's get the halberd as the main weapon. Just so we aren't wasting good weapons for trivial matters. Okay. Hey. Oh, you again. Who are you? Oh, me. They call me Draka. Ever since the Vine Beast Vibe Redania showed up, there's a ton of lava. It's way too hot now, and there are more monsters around too. Boss keeps watch over this area, but he can only do so much. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. To the cannon. Oi, stop that! That's boss cannon. Don't you dare to that lever. So what exactly, if anything, happens if I put this in here, and then, uh, explode? I'm not certain. Did that, like, launch a projectile? Oh, it did. I bet that's what we need to use, a cannon. Okay, here we go. Uh, gentlemen. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. Oh. You're a good shot. Oh. 
Is that as high as we're going? Okay. Cool. Alright. Almost there. Okay, okay, here we go. Man, these particles are kind of annoying. Okay, where's the cannon? Let's take a look at this. Not quite the right angle. Is there another cannon somewhere we could use? really seeing any cannons per se what's that I mean if there is a cannon it would be this direction right oh give me that chest Night spell, okay. All right, here we go. Taking this place on. Oh. Hey, excuse me. I do not appreciate that. Same applies to you. Ah. Ooh, Reddle's Alpha still. Nice. Okay. Let's get up here. Now up here we got a whole lot of nothing. I don't see a cannon that I think would aim towards that, unfortunately. And I'm kind of thinking cannon has got to be the way to go, right? Oh, is that, uh, that's a can of the same as this direction. Uh, we'll check it out. Is any can at all is better than, uh, the spot I'm currently at? Oh, my. That is a wee bit destructive. Hmm. Is there a cannon anywhere around here? Let's utilize. No. There's, of course, that cannon there. Uh, we'll take a... Hmm. Cause, yeah, the, I think the cannon has to be the answer, right? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think that's the cannon I went to initially, and it just shot over uh, this direction. Like, are there any other cannons around? That one shoots over that direction. Are there any that shoot up here? And this one over here is the closest, but I don't think it aims in the correct direction. Unless there's a way to, like, pivot it. There might be, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it definitely looks like it should be able to pivot. I'm not sure how we uh, cause that to happen exactly. Uh. Oh. Okay. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, so here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to, uh, pivot the cannon. Well, we're, we're, we'll load it. And then we gotta pivot it and fire while pivoting. Like now. Uh, not quite. Now. Uh, okay. Yep, not quite. There we go. Ha ha ha. Oh man, dude. Be more careful next time, okay? Sheesh. Okay. Hello, my good sir. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? Huh? <sighs> 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 Hello, Yunibo. First of all, I'll be- Ooh, what's this? Ooh. The Cobble Crusher. Yep. Ooh, Ice Arrows. Nice. I'll be, uh, raiding this entire vault now. Purple Rupee. Okay. Called payments, all right. Anyways, okay. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Now that I've got a good look. Uh. Whoa, it's a highly. Uh, were you the one who broke through that crag to rescue me, Gura? Thanks, brother. But uh, what brought you all the way out here to begin with? 
looking for Yinaba? Oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Whew, thank goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, girl. Uh, the name's Yinabo. Everyone calls me Yinabo. Makes sense, girl. Uh, I came here to get some painkillers for boss, but a uh, magna bomb caused a rock slide. Sealing the entrance, girl. By the way, how did you break those rocks at the entrance? With a cannon. Huh? You used boss's cannon? That thing is so difficult to use. I thought only boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. Uh, I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Sorry, I've got to run. But uh, do come by and uh, see the boss later, okay? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay, goodbye for now, Guru. Okay. Yes, let us uh get going then. Okay, come on. Here we go. Oh my. Uh, maybe shield surfing not the best idea over here. Alright, let's get back. I, can I make that? Uh, probably not. I'll try though. Oh wow, I did make it. Alright, later. Oh, my. Oh, hey, dude. Alright, I'll be on my way. I'll take this other path, because I've taken the other path every other time. Okay, so we freed the guy, but anyways guys, that'll be it for this episode. Until next time, I've been Seamercraft, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.